Welcome back to another video, everybody, and welcome to No Shave Ember. The beard is coming along quite well, but that is not today's focus. Today's focus is a new toy that I purchased for the holiday season, which is the North Pole Express train set. <laughs> If this is your first time to the video or if you've watched several times but you haven't subscribed, make sure you consider subscribing. In this channel, my channel, we do theme park reviews, travel, and other random things like today's unboxing. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Now today, as I mentioned, we're reviewing and unboxing the North Pole Express train set. Here it is in its full glory. Sorry, I'm trying to fit it into the frame completely. Let's read a little bit off the box. So basically it's a 29 piece train set. It has, the contents of it is one locomotive, one coal tender, two passenger cars, six straight tracks, eight curb tracks, seven signal signs, and four light posts. Right here on the back you have uh, three different ways that you could actually lay out the tracks, different options, and I'm sure if you get creative, there's several additional more options that you could probably do as well. Right next to that, you have an image of the locomotive, the coal tender, and then the passenger cars with the signs as well as the lights and the track. And right above it, you can see that it says that it's 3.3 meters, which is 11 feet, which is pretty decent. Now, the next thing you're probably asking yourself is how much did this puppy cost? And the biggest reason why I purchased it, it was kind of on a whim. I wasn't going there to actually purchase the train. I was going for some other items, but I was walking past, it was $9.99 at Walmart. So a hell of a bargain, very cheap. If you're looking to get yourself a train set just for fun and maybe you don't want to get anything that's too expensive, I think this is going to be the perfect option for you. Now the last and probably best detail about this train is something that it says right on the front of the box, which is it's actually battery operated so it moves and it has a operating headlight in the front of it. Now without further ado, let's get into unboxing this puppy and actually Oh, I'm gonna need a knife. I'll be right back. All right, now let's get into it. That was easy. Put this away, safety first, then teamwork. Put that over to the side. Very nice, very nice. All right, so let's get straight into the most important portion of it, which is the locomotive parts. Very plasticky, but I mean, for $10, you can't ask for much. Uh, the details are nice and cool. It seems like it's sturdy enough that it will stay together, and I'm assuming the batteries go somewhere in this cart, so probably somewhere back here we will at the end of the video put it all together and actually run it one time so see how it runs but there you are that is the locomotive all right so next we have the coal tender let's go ahead and pull that puppy out now the coal tender is just the cart in the train that actually carries the coal Again, very plasticky, but nice detail to it. It's decent. Once again, take into consideration, $10. And then right here you have the actual passenger cars. Let's just hit, pull one out. They're both the same, it looks like. Right around the same, yeah. And they both say North Pole Express on the side of them. They're painted in this nice green with red and then yellow lettering, which is really nice with this white roof, which is really cool. Materials, again, not too impressive on either of these, but as long as it functions, I'm gonna be happy because once again, I will reemphasize for like the millionth time, $10. The next thing I'll go to, just because I'm trying to move in order, is the actual, what looks like, I believe these are electric post? I thought it said light post. Um, but I guess that's what they were referring to. Just looks like 
uh, above ground electricity post, which I guess is what they refer to as the light post on the description on the box. Uh, this will be pretty cool. I wonder how I'm going to be able to utilize this if there's somewhere around the tracks or do they have like a base where I could set it up around kind of like a Christmas towny uh, setup. I will be putting this whole entire thing around my Christmas tree. So stay tuned for that video as well. Now, the next portion, of course, is the track. These are the curved tracks, which we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like the box stated, pretty decent, pretty basic. Plastic all around, no metal fittings, but it looks like you do have the fittings right there so you could interlock them all. Then we move over to the straight pieces. These will help interlock if you're trying to get like a circle going around. Um, and then for this one, you got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, just like the box says. Nice and rubber band in. Plastic as the other ones were. Decent. All right, that's not fitting in back perfectly. And then we got this last little slot right here. Not sure exactly what's in here, but let's see. Um, all right, let's pop this puppy open and actually see what's in here. It looks like some bases for those light posts. So yeah, this is the base for the light post. Yep, fits perfectly. Very nice, so I guess I could set these around the actual cart. And then what do we got over here? Okay, the remainder of these are the signs. Let's see. And the signs do have some writing, not sure if that's coming through, but it says yard limit. Interesting, very nice. Let's see what other signs, pull out one more. And then this one, this one right here, not sure if you can see that still, but it says reduce speed. Very nice, so like an assortment of signs so you can place around the train. Be very cool. All right, next, let's put this puppy together. All righty, peeps, so we are in my room. I'm just gonna assemble it on my bed. Later on, it will go in my living room, but I'm filming in here today, so I just wanted to go ahead and assemble it right here. Now let's speed through this video. Now, quick feedback there. The interlocking portion of it is because it's plastic pieces, you wanna be a little careful. It feels delicate, but also once you lock it in, it feels like it's nice and tight. Now, something to note really quickly was if you don't use the proper amount of tracks or the proper combination, the track will kind of like turn in and not sit flat. So I had to add an additional piece right there at the end. 
Now, let's put the train on it. Just gonna use one cart for the sake of demonstration. Check her out. She is all built and ready. That is the North Pole Express. Just using one cart or one passenger cart at the moment. Let's put some batteries in her. Now one thing I did forget to mention is the type of batteries that it takes, which are D2. Um, you can get any style of D2. I got these at CVS, as you can see, they're CVS brand. I got these for I think like six or seven bucks. Maybe it was eight bucks, but regardless, a total investment of about $18 to get a train that you can put around your Christmas tree is pretty cool. Let's get these puppies open. Almost dropped it there. Now I was correct, the battery compartment is found in the back end of the main locomotive. And then, now where's the on and off switch? There it is, on and off switch. A little noisy, super fast. I wonder if there's different like speeds for it because that seemed like it was going really fast. Let's see. Alrighty, so we're doing test number one with the batteries in, and we just have the locomotive, the coal truck, and then the passenger train, or the passenger car. Let's try it out. Take into consideration, it is on my bed, but it seems powerful enough to pull the whole entire thing. But this surface is not ideal. goes perfectly with the coal truck. So I'm sure once I put it down on the floor, it'll do just fine. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'll put it in the hallway in front of my room. All right, test number two. Disaster. That's number four.
Okay, so I came to the conclusion that in order to run the whole entire train with all the additional pieces that it comes with, the coal cart and then the two passenger carts, you need a much more circular setup. The way that I had set it up, the turn was getting, I guess, too sharp for the last cart to actually turn and it would hold back the main locomotive. So I had to remove one and as you saw on the, at the end, it actually worked with just three. Um, my hallway is a little bit narrow, so I can't do the full circle, but once I go to put it on the Christmas tree, I will be able to do the full circle, so all of the locomotives should be able to, to run smoothly. So my final thoughts on the North Pole Express. Um, Build-wise, not the best quality, um, but all in all, I'm very satisfied. It's a little noisy as far as the locomotive goes. But for $10, you can't get a better deal. And if you're just looking for a cool little accent piece to put around your tree, and just every so often when people come over, you're gonna turn it on just to show off, it's not a big deal. You have this cool little light up here that can distract them from the very loud noise. So all in all for $10 at Walmart, a great buy. If you wanna look at getting yourself one, go check them out. That is all for this one, peeps. If you like this content, make sure to give it a fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to show your support. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the locomotive. And if you have one of your own, will you be going out to purchase one? After watching this video, that'll make me feel great that I was able to help you choose your locomotive for your Christmas tree this year. And as always, peeps, don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained?